Hello everybody, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Crafts. I, this was my latest fancy fold for you. Um, now this is one that I done about well, just over a year ago now. And it's been my most successful one. It's had over 36,000 hits, which if you look at the rest of mine, only had four or 500. And the occasional one's got 2,000, but not many. It really was... And it wasn't the first one neither, so I just don't understand. I've never understood why it was so successful. Anyway, I thought I would do it again, and I would do it in a 5x5. Five five. I the, the other one was in a smaller one, so I thought if I do this in a 5x5, five five, then it still fits in an envelope. So this is what we're going to be doing. It is the Butterfly Open Card with the napkin fold insert that holds them like that and it all folds reasonably flat it's large letter yes you've got that bulky bit there but it does fit into a five by five envelope so that's what we're going to be doing so you need your card you need your five by five blank cards one obviously you need some two inch, is it two inch? Yes, two inch squares. And you need your coloured paper and obviously your butterflies, which I haven't got ready. But anyway, little butterflies on some acetate. <coughs> Excuse me. So first of all, with your five by five, you need to cut a shape out. You don't have to have a fancy die if you don't have them just cut a square or draw around a, a circle or something you know anything you can just draw around um but otherwise if you've got a nice fancy one then use the fancy ones i personally like the fancy ones but i've got them but if i didn't have i would just be doing a square all around make sure you need leave enough around here that is going to support the structure of the card and you need a little bit of a gap here where you're going to be putting this inside the card. This can be adjusted. This can be three inch or four inch, or it can go smaller as well. For this card, this five by five, this two by two is perfect. So that's your first stage. Then your insert, your pattern paper. Let me just go through that first. Because you're doing it on a five by five, Oh, hold on that one. Let me have a look. Where is this one? Oh, I haven't got that one. I just... Oh, there it is. To do this, it's a 5x5, five five, and I wanted this one. Now, it's very difficult to get this to be exactly the same, to sit in exactly the right place. So what I've done is i done cut the shape in a 6x6 six six instead of a 5x5. Five then you can actually stick it on your card, turn it over, and then you can trim all these edges off. That is the really the best thing to do. And then this one, I haven't put a piece on the back for some reason, I don't know why, but the others I have. And then I've used a white piece, the same shape that's gone on the back. So this one, I've missed the back piece. So that's what it is. So you, really, this needs to be a six by six. This came from, this this whole collection came from a six by six paper pad. So that was really good. I just made sure I had two, this pattern and this pattern to be the same, and this pattern and this pattern to be the same. So I just needed two, um, a six, or six inch, um, sheets for that the two for the front and the other thing is if you want two one for the inside and one for the front take your pieces like this fold the second one inside like that and then when you die cut them you can die cut them exactly the same and you'll have one for this side facing the right way and then you'll have one for that side facing the right way 
and then you just want um, uh, these, these you can just keep for other cards, but you want one in white to go on the back there for people to write on. So that's your center pieces. That's your um, fancy pattern stuff on the outside. And now I'm going to go through this with you. As I said, it's a two inch, two inch square. You fold it over like that. Then you fold it over that way. So you've got it folded. Then you need to cut one, just one corner piece. And then you glue that to that one. So now you've got your uh, triangle. Triangle, I suppose. And then you've got to fold one of these over like that to there. So you've now got it looking like that. Let me just do another one. You cut this piece up. And you glue this piece to this one like that. Then you fold one of them in. So you've got it like that. Now you actually want three of these and then you glue them back to back like that. So they're all facing the same way. And then you end up with this. So you've got all these little pieces here where you can put your acetate butterflies. Then you get your piece that's got the pattern paper and everything on it. And that's where it's glued. So you want to glue it both sides there. An extra piece of glue down the middle there. Stick it on there. Hold it closed. And then I used a couple of pegs just to hold it there until it dry. It holds it in place because you want it to sit up, up to there on there. So that's that. That's your pattern piece. You've got these. And then you need your acetate and butterflies which are there and then you glue them inside and like i've said to you before if you're going to do acetate and butterflies get your piece of acetate put a piece of red liner tape right across the top red liner tape across the bottom you do want it at different lengths and then cut it up into your thin slices put your butterflies on like that and glue them in you want some extra ones on the front that are going to show from there and there's your card that's how you see it it's it's quite simple really maybe that's why it was so popular but anyway this is a five by five version with any luck it'll be this, as popular as the other one but it's really really nice as i said they're all from the same collection so you, you know you might think they don't look any different but the papers are different that's the second one and this one i put a couple of little dragonflies in occasional ones as well that's how it sits it folds reasonably flat so it goes large letter in this country a couple of little extra butterflies on there and the last two, that's a round one. And that is just as effective if you just draw around something. You don't have any fancy dies, you know, that's absolutely no problem making this one. It's just as effective. That's quite nice for a round one. And the final one is this one. So anybody can produce this one with a round. You don't need no dies. You can just do that like that. So that's it. So hopefully this is it. We've actually got some building work going on at the moment. So the um, fancy fold videos will be a little bit sporadic. I've already got a video going up for next week. It's not, um, it isn't a fancy fold, but it is a, it's not AI neither. So, and I've got that one done, ready to sort of fill that gap. So I'm not sure when the next one will be up, but hopefully it'll be up in two weeks again. So thank you ever so much, everybody. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, then.